the first recording, remember, the father waited for his little son's question. In this scene, the mother herself leads into the subject of menstruation with her daughter, who might be 10 or 11, perhaps older. The obvious reason is to make sure that a girl knows both the natural and the spiritual significance of this function before it happens. Parents are the best judges of the proper time and place for such instruction, but a good rule to follow here is better a year too early than one week too late. Notice how the mother starts with changes her daughter can see, the outer growth of her body, and then the inner maturing that comes with adolescence. There's an obvious bond of confidence between mother and child, which is essential in all sex instruction. Notice, too, how both the naturalness and holiness of the menstrual function are explained by the mother. There's an emotional overtone here, too, which contrasts with the more matter-of-fact presentation to boys. Here again, for convenience, the subject matter of perhaps two or more talks has been compressed into a single scene. Oh, let's see now. Fold in the whites. Hi, oh. Mother. Oh, hi, dear. Oh. What you making, Kate? Uh-huh. Mmm, yum. Oh, Betty O'Brien, get your fingers out of my ice in this <laughs> minute. And how many times have I told you to hang up your coat and put your books in your room when you come in? What's it worth to you, Mums? Licks on the bowl? <laughs> oh, Betty, you're <laughs> impossible. When are you going to start growing up? When am I going to finish, you mean? Behold the evidence of old age descending on your darling daughter, Mrs. O'Brien. Oh, dear. Watch this coat sleeve. Watch it closely now. Mm -hmm. An inch, two inches, it's crept halfway to the elbow before your very eyes. Oh, Betty. Your father just bought you that coat a year ago, and it was too big then. Well, let's see, I don't suppose we can let that sleeve down anymore. No, Mother, you're just not going to buy me another new one. I, I just won't have it. Unless, of course, you twist my arm enough. Oh, it's twisting your neck I should be doing. Oh, but you are growing up, Betty. I can see that. Oh, scales don't lie. Except when Daddy gets on them. <laughs> oh, I hope I have a figure like Phyllis Graham. Oh, Betty, be serious for once. But I am serious. Uh-oh. I can feel a motherly talk coming on. I know that look in your eye. <laughs> I declare to goodness, sometimes I don't know whether to hug you or paddle you. <laughs> you know so much, and yet... Yet what, Mums? Oh, I was about to say, and yet you know so little. Oh, I'm sorry, Mums. I'll be good, really. What were you going to tell me? Oh, nothing much, honey. It's just that, well, with all these changes you can see, getting taller and your breasts beginning to grow and so on, there are other changes going on inside of you. Inside of me? What kind of changes, Mother? Well... Do you remember my telling you when you were little how babies grow inside their mothers? Mm-hmm. Well, from now on, through your teens, the wonderful machinery inside your body that will hold and nourish a baby when you're grown up, if God calls you to the married state, that machinery will begin to develop. Really, Mums? Well, tell me about it. Well, to begin with, every woman has two small organs within her body called ovaries. Now, each month, one of them produces a tiny egg, or ovum, as the doctors call it. Is that the egg the baby grows from? The one you told me about when I was little? That's right, dear. You see, God knew that when he did will to create a new little soul inside the mother, the tiny body would have to be nourished so it would develop from a little egg to a full-grown baby. Mm-hmm. Well, so wonderfully has God designed our bodies that... Each month, as one of the ovaries produces an egg, blood is accumulated in the lining of the uterus, a womb. That's where you carry your baby, isn't it? Yes, dear. Now, when a woman is married, the seed from the father, which I told you about, is planted inside the mother's egg. And this egg fastens itself to the wall of the uterus. That is what the blood is for, to nourish the tiny body until it is ready to be born. Oh, that's wonderful, isn't it, Mother? And does, does that happen every month, even before a girl is married? That's right, honey. It's part of the whole complicated process that the doctors call ovulation and menstruation. But does the blood come anyway? 
Even when there's no baby to need it? That's right, dear. But it doesn't stay there in the uterus when there's no baby. You see, when the egg is not fertilized, it dissolves and the blood simply flows out again through the vagina. Then the whole process starts all over again the following month. You mean you... you sort of bleed? Well, not exactly, dear. You see, the blood is simply stored up for a particular purpose, and when it's not needed, it just passes off. It's a perfectly natural bodily function, and a holy one, really, when you consider that it's part of God's wonderful plan for creating new little souls in his own image. Oh. You see, darling, that's why I'm telling you now about those changes that are beginning to take place in your own body. Someday, maybe soon, or it may not be for a year or so, you'll have your first period, as it's called. Normally it lasts three to five days, but at first it may be only a trace and may not come regularly every month. But, Mother, when it happens, what'll I do? Well, when it does, dear, just come and tell me, and I'll show you how to take care of yourself and your clothes. The thing to remember always that this is a natural thing, a holy thing. It means that God is preparing your body for the wonderful calling of motherhood, if that is his plan for you. I understand, Mother. And thanks for being so sweet. Uh, all right, now, darling, get those books picked up before your father gets home or he's likely to forget you're growing up and use the slipper on you. Oh, I'm on my way, Mums. But uh, first, how about licking the ball? <laughs> Betty O'Brien, I wonder if you'll ever really throw up. <laughs> 